it's not my fault I've ended up homeless. It's just been a nightmare. I had to ask Enfield Council for help. They've put us in a travel lodge and we've been here for seven weeks. I'm Tracy Britton and at 50 years old, I gave birth to quadruplets, becoming the oldest mum in the UK to have quads. I had the kids at 50. I don't think too far ahead. You know, we found a nice house, we could settle in. We were told it would be long term. It wasn't. When I had the quads, I was in private rent in a three bedroom. Unfortunately, the lady sold that house. I moved to Enfield during lockdown 2020, October, and was told it was going to be long term let. After 12 months, the um, landlady, landlord, um, decided to put the house up for sale and it's took now 12 months for it to sell. Now it's sold. I couldn't find anywhere to live at all because of the economy how it is. The house rates are really expensive. You're looking about £3,000 for a four bedroom house, which I can't afford. It's not my fault I've ended up homeless. I had to ask the Enfield Council for help and they've put us in a travel lodge and we've been here for seven weeks. Well, it's not been good on my mental health. My son, George, has just been diagnosed with having autism. So he's very demanding. Um, he wants picking up constantly, which I can't really do. He doesn't sleep for long. He'll get up in the early hours. I must get at least three hours sleep a night for pushing it. He, he runs out of the hotel. Um, and I have to stay awake just to watch over him to make sure he doesn't come to any home. And it's just been a nightmare. We're living in one room with um, four children. There's no cooking facilities. There's, there's just no fridge to give my kids hot milk to keep the milk fresh. It's just horrendous, to be honest. Psychologically, it, it makes me, you know, at times I feel like I don't want to be here. I'm, I'm mentally and physically drained. Basic rooms as, as travel lodges, they're not, they're not made to, you know, to live in. Um, you just come for a holiday for a day or two and then, and then that's it. But we've been made to live here for seven weeks in one room. We have two rooms, but one is for all the toys and the clothes and the food. And, um, and stuff like that. And we're just all in one room constantly, you know, all together on top of one another. I'm not getting nowhere with anything. I've tried putting it on social media myself, on um, Instagram to see if there's any four bedrooms. I've gone on websites I don't even normally, you know, join just to see if there's any houses that can so it's not like I'm not doing anything I'm doing everything I can and it's just that extra bit added stress on me where the housing could be you know taking that stress off me when they're telling me it's a 10 year waiting list and I can be 65 when I eventually get on the housing list. Because George is autistic as I say, and he keeps running out the doors. There's no locks on the doors at all. There's a switch lock, which is where the handle is, but then he can open that and just run out. And so he can run out, which he has done. He's run downstairs, somebody's had to get him back. So he's gone out down the hallway, pressed the lift, gone down, and this is at the blink of an eye. And um, one, of the res one of the residents had to bring him up back to me, because I've gone everywhere looking for him. And we're right onto a, a main road on, in Finchley Central, which is very dangerous for any kid, never mind an autistic kid. I've told the housing this and still nothing, not even a reply back. I don't know what's going to happen for me. I, I just envision myself, you know, put myself in a nice frame of mind and envision myself having, you know, a nice spacious house um, where the kids can play and 
were, you know, nice garden, like we, what we had before, but what you envision and what's reality, the two different things. So I've got to hope for the best and see if anybody can, can help us, you know, rent, rent us something or get social housing. Because if we rent something, we still could be in that situation where it's going to be sold again. So we're back to square one again. I've got all my furniture in storage. I've got about five sets of clothing to my name and that's costing a fortune. You know, the, the quicker we get somewhere, the better it is for all, for all of us mentally.